Hey everyone, it's Jason here with a new update for Fire Jumpers Inferno. And I'm really excited because this is going to be one of the last updates that I have for the open public. After that, it's going to be going on to Steam. So let's take a look at what I've been up to. So this is kind of the new intro and the new look. Got a new uh, new logo here as well. Got the sunrise coming up to six o'clock. And I've just cleared all of the rubbish that I had around. And, just, and, and even this here, this is the new pictogram helper. Uh, so it's kind of like the uh, lazy man's translation where I don't have to translate it into all of the different languages if I use pictures. So hopefully uh, that will make sense. The pictures also change depending on uh, what you're uh, doing. So I'll just leave you guys to take a look at that and see if it makes any sense. Oh, I want to get some uh, multiplayer game over here. Let's see. Uh, all right, flamingos on. All right, cool. You're gonna like this new update. All right, so let's uh, let's load the next one here. So again, got the sunrise. Uh, really, just wanted to try to get that kind of epic feeling with every game. So uh, so yeah, so the sunrise comes up, you get to see everything, and uh, so let's just kind of jump into it here. Uh, I have updated uh, the uh, water units. To now have this kind of water tank above it's it's actually a little bit of a kind of a reverse water tank where the water is actually accumulating on the outside but it makes sense uh, so here the tank you can see here for the brush truck is less than that of the engine the engine has a, a larger tank and you can actually see just visually at a glance uh, where they are with their water situation. Um, again, I'm always a big fan of that. Uh, you know, just how much can you get just by looking at it? Uh, the other thing is uh, I've added a menu. So before I used to have a menu, but I've brought it down to just a single line where you can update the name of the brush truck if you want. Number three or something. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so you can still go like this and everything gets switched or uh, you can still just draw a line and have it go. Uh, by default, it's gonna start with a spray mode or you can switch it over to a move. Uh, so this is how you are able to toggle uh, your options and it's like that for all of them. So let's say we take a, uh, a hot shot uh, we can start spraying. So if we have, let's say, a fire. Da, 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 da. Let's increase it by another three hours. Let's see, uh, number three. All right. If I were to move far enough from the water source, you'll actually gradually see the water come down here. Uh, the hotshot has barely any water tank. It's really dependent on a water source uh, as well. Um, but yeah, uh, so we can go and grab, let's say, a bulldozer. And a bulldozer can now choose to either move or cut. Let's see, I'm going to it easier here so we can just get into cutting. This is, oh, this is going to be tough to find the right area here. All right. Uh, so yeah, so this is the, the new unit menu. And again, just down here, keeping it really simple uh, and out of the way, uh, you can get back to your unit. Uh, 
Uh, all your hot shots. Uh, it does disappear. So when you're in focus, the reason why is that uh, the moment I come over to, let's say, an aircraft, right? Uh, I didn't want to show all of the units at the bottom. Right? Again, I'm trying to keep it minimalist. Uh, if you see on the side here, uh, you can see here all of the extra keys uh, for a uh, for an aircraft. Uh, so you can you know, place waypoints by holding down the F key or go to cockpit view. Uh, you can move around. Um, you also have uh, you can change your drop seconds uh, again everything's here so you can take a look uh, and kind of get used to the controls and once you kind of get used to them uh, you can even clear that away and just kind of open it up to as much open space as possible uh, down here we've got uh, I think in case I haven't gone through it we've got wind speed wind direction moisture level and uh, this is the map textures from showing the rate of spread or the flame length uh, so these are again the different textures and all that but we've gone through that in a previous video but yeah here is everything oh uh, up here you can see uh, you can toggle on and off again the voice uh, the voice chat so um, this kind of opens it up, but then you do have to click in here to activate yourself into that voice channel. So you can talk to other people right here, uh, but you don't need to always show it. You can just hide it again. So that's how it works. Uh, and then back to the map screen. So you can just turn everything off and uh, it's gonna just bring right back to the loading screen here. All right, that is basically it. Uh, so uh, this is a new download version 0.9. So I'm very close to version one. So this is where uh, I'm gonna look for some beta testers. I really need to just find all the bugs. Find the bugs for me, please. Uh, I think I've got most of them, uh, but anything else that kind of shows up, let me know. Uh, and the last thing for me now is just to connect it to Steam and get it all connected with, um, uh, you know, purchasing, you know, the different uh, different units and things like that, uh, and that should be good. So, all right, thank you very much for your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.